Good evening, humans. Turn source moth here. And tonight we're taking a look at the WWE Elite Collection Legends Series 21 Iron Sheik figure from Mattel. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks really good. Not perfect, mind you, but it definitely very good. And, uh, you know, we're going to start with that face sculpt and just... I'm really impressed with what they've been doing with the Legends subline here for the Elites. And, uh, yeah, that's spot-on likeness of Iron Sheik. Um, just pretty much everything from the sculpt, the paint, just everything really brings it to life. Uh, then beyond that, get kind of hooked on the ropes here. <laughs> Uh, talking about the physique itself, and uh, the, the limbs are definitely a little spindly, uh, as you can kind of see here. I mean, obviously he was a very bulky dude, and uh, yeah, this just kind of, it doesn't really read right, I don't think. <laughs> I think the limbs are just a little too thin. I, d I don't know what other, uh, I don't know what recipe they'd probably use for the arms here, uh, but just definitely something with a little more thickness. Same with the legs, like they just kind of like, yeah, it just doesn't look right. But uh yeah, overall, I mean, again, the, the head likeness is fantastic, and certainly when it's in all the, the uh, entrance gear, it looks it looks spot on. But here, just a little bit of a, you know, kind of, kind of just some weirdness going on here. I think the torso is actually a good choice. Uh, it definitely kind of works. Um, but, you know, the, the limbs are definitely kind of thrown off a little, little bit. But beyond that, we do get the ring gear. So we got the trunks with a very nice shade of red with a camel. And uh, we get that camel back here on the boots, again with the red, but then we get the inside with that kind of light blue and the scimitar here at the top and the top of the socks. So uh, yeah, some nice details, but uh, you know, overall it just kind of slightly misses the mark. And I don't know if that's because this is being built off of a uh, previous buck or what, but um, yeah, definitely a, a, a decent looking figure, but not perfect. We do get a nice loadout of accessories here, so let's jump right into it. And uh, starting with hands, we do get our requisite C-grips. Then we get a pair of open palm hands. And finally, a pair of pointing hands to make you humble. And yeah, just all excellent choices, all hand choices we have seen in various WWE Elite figures and Ultimates as well. Uh, then we get his entrance gear and uh, we get this very nicely done robe. I really love just the bright gold they have here on the trim. Uh, you got obviously that subdued gold for the body of it and uh, it feels really nice. It's really weighty for a, uh, soft goods and Mattel definitely seems to be kind of doubling down on the soft goods for these Elites. Uh, and the Ultimates, so uh, very happy about that. So yeah, this definitely follows suit, just very well put together. And then finally, uh, we get his kafia, and you know, very nicely done. As you can see, the red and white pattern, the like, black band here at the top, and uh, fits pretty much perfectly right over the head. So uh, very well done piece. Uh, it would have been great if that was also soft goods, but I mean, it totally works here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of allowance and there's a lot of pliability as well. So that will do it for accessories. Articulation balance here are extremely good. And uh, as you can see, you can definitely hold a freestanding kick, no issues. So uh, we'll get into the finer points from there. Uh, we do have our barbell joint in the head. Uh, so we can look up about that far and look down. Uh, not really, as you can see the bottom of that head sculpt with the chin and the, the uh, jawbone just kind of like prevents it from doing so. So there is that. Uh, we do get a little bit of tilt and then we get of course rotation. Come to the arms, we are on hinge and swivel and that will bring us into a perfect T for that range. Then we get a bicep swivel. We get double jointed elbows, which will bring us to there. We do get hinge and swivel with the wrist, all horizontal. Then we get our ab crunch, which is a standard ab crunch. And uh, we get not too bad on the front, not on the crunch, not too bad on the arch back, but nothing crazy. Uh, then we do get a waist swivel. We get perfect splits, absolutely insane. No reason for that at all, but it just totally works. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty much awesome. Uh, our front kick is almost completely 90, so beautiful there. Then we get thigh swivel, double jointed knees folding completely in half. We do get boot cut 
and with these boots we do get that same point that really really good forward and uh, then some rocker both in and out so that will do it for articulation getting into size comparisons here is with some other wwe figures with some other wrestling lines with some domestics with some imports, with some monsters. Finally, with articulate icons, Oni and yours truly in human form is a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the WWE Elite Collection Legends Series 21 uh, Iron Sheik figure from Mattel is that this is a, an incredibly solid figure. Again, there's definitely some visual things I think are a little off, like the spindly limbs and such, but if you're gonna display this either in box or um, with all the entrance gear, that definitely is not an issue. So uh, it's all up to you. I, I was just happy to get an Iron Sheik figure for my collection. Uh, and this has, it, it will, it is an, it, it is a Target exclusive, pardon me. <laughs> um, it being the Elite Legends line. Um, so it is only showing up in Targets and uh, some targets have gotten a ton, some have not so much. I've found literally this one on a shelf <laughs> and that was it. And uh, yeah, the Legends series definitely seems to be a little more sparse at this point. Like it used to be, you saw them everywhere. The entire wave showed up. Uh, you'd find chases, no issues, etc. cetera. Um, I'm not having that kind of luck here, uh, certainly in the Northeast. So uh, I hope you fare better. Uh, but if not, I will definitely have a link in the description below if it is still up. And uh, yeah, you can get it there. So uh, ultimately, I just hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. And if you did, I hope to see you back because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. And uh, if any of that appeals to you, then come on back. Let's talk some more toys. Uh, let's just have some fun and escape the world for a while. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just hope you're well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay where it's demands.